Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Panthers, Carolina Panthers Talk by yours truly, Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram here on the U to the Tube. Um, just a little small update. Uh, got a, another transaction that that happened. Um, so won't be too long with this video, but um, just wanted to go over a quick transaction that happened today. Um. Carolina Panthers have brought back linebacker Julian Stanford. Of course, you know, Julian Stanford played uh, with the Carolina Panthers uh, as the in a special teams role. And as a matter of fact, he was, um, pardon me, he actually played in all 16 games last season. And he was, he led uh, the special teams in, in tackles. So um, definitely was very productive um, in special teams. Um, looking at his stats as of now, I uh, just want to go over, over stats. So he has 95 tackles, 67 of them solo, um, one sack, and one pass deflected. So, I mean, not a whole lot there, but he's mainly used in special teams. So, um, the only thing, the only reason I could see uh, with them bringing him back is um, to continue his role with uh, special teams. Now, I don't know if he's going to really get a chance to, you know, get in the starting lineup or at least fight for one of those linebacker positions. I think they've pretty much settled in, uh, of course, with Zach, or not, not Zach, Shaq Thompson. Um, and I think it's safe to say we're going to be seeing a, a, a lot of Denzel Perryman and you know there there was there is Hassan Reddick, but it looks like he's going to be mainly uh, potentially edge rusher. So I mean, you know Julian Stanford does have experience. I just don't know if he's going to really have an opportunity to uh, get reps in with the with the defense. But um, and I know. It seems that somewhat meant that maybe Jermaine Carter may finally be getting his shot to possibly become a starter. But I think Julian Stanford is mainly going to be on special teams. I think that's where he's shined so far with the Carolina Panthers. So I don't really see anything changing with that. But I mean, hey, I mean, he did good was productive in special teams. He led the special teams in tackles. So, I mean, it's a reason that they, they brought him back. So, I expect him to continue that role. So, I'm cool with it. Um, And I know it mentioned in this article that, um, and part of making room for him, uh, they had to waive kicker Matt Amendola and then they're saying that, as of now, Joey Sly is the only kicker on the roster. And I honestly, I could have sworn that there was another kicker that we had. I tried to look back in my, my archive videos. I thought there was one that was mentioned besides uh, Matt Amendola, but no. Nah. Um, so right now, we, we just have Joey Sly. Joey Sly is is our kicker, which, like I said in the previous video, I mean, it doesn't surprise me if that if they stick with him, if they stick with him, you know, I I don't really expect any drastic change there, to be honest with you, but um, but yeah, I mean, they brought Julian Stanford back, thirty years old, um, I expect him to continue his special teams role and um yeah 
that's pretty much all I have on that. Um, I do want to mention one thing. So, so far, it looks like out of each of our um, signed rookies, it looks like so far, um, the rookies that are signed to deals are um, Deontay Brown, uh, one of our offensive linemen, Thomas Fletcher, a uh, long snapper, uh, Chuba Hubbard, a uh, running back, which I believe he was the first one that was signed, um, Davion Nixon, um, uh, one of our uh, defensive tackles, uh, Shai Smith, a uh, wide receiver, and Keith Taylor, uh, one of our cornerbacks. So they, um, so far, have their, their signed their rookie deals. So still waiting on uh, J.C. Horn, which I'm pretty sure will get done soon if it hasn't been done yet. Um, we also have... Uh, Oh yeah, Phil Hoskins, um, defensive tackle that we drafted. He signed his deal as well. So the only folks that the only um, rookie, the only draft picks that haven't been signed yet are J.C. Horn, Terrace Marshall Jr., Brady Christensen, and Tommy Trumbull. So those are the only four remaining, which. I'm pretty sure they're going to eventually all get signed. I mean, at least J.C. Horn, at least Brady Christensen, and at least Tommy Trumbull. Um, I'm starting to hear some stuff about um, Terrace Marshall Jr. apparently having a history of um, leg injuries in the past. So um, that might possibly be in question as he gets ready to begin his NFL career, how much that will play into effect. Um, been hearing a lot of uh, mixed opinions about um, some folks like him, some folks don't like him, some feel that he's a bust. But um, apparently, you know, he's, he's had a history of, of, of leg injuries, so we'll have to see what happens. We'll, we'll have to see what happens, but... Um, but yeah, I think it's only a matter of time before everybody else gets signed. I mean, they're doing their rookie mini their rookie mini camps. You know, they've really been getting that going. So I mean, you know, it's just it's exciting. It's a lot to look forward to, and it's exciting. You know, I am looking forward to really getting things started. You know, they've been doing some spotlight on uh, different players, uh, free agents, and, and rookies. So, I mean, this it's exciting. It's exciting. I'm looking forward to um, as the camps continue to go and as we get ready for um, that first preseason game, which is supposed to be against the Indianapolis Colts. I'm just, I'm just ready to see how our talent does. I'm, I'm ready to see... Um, how the chemistry looks um sam darnold you know i'm ready to see for myself you know can can sam darnold uh bounce back and become gradually become a french franchise quarterback you know is it is it possible this is really his first legit shot because he came from a Jets organization that was terrible all three years he played there. Um, you know, how is this offensive line going to hold up? You know, what's, what's the starting offensive line going to look like come regular season week one? You know, is there going to be good chemistry there? You know, are we going to truly get back a healthy Christian McCaffrey? You know, will he be able to bounce back and potentially come close or, you know, of equal production that he did in uh, 2019? Um, you know, 
there's a lot to look at. Has our defense evolved even more? I mean, we we saw some flashes last season, and it and it, there were many times where they were able to get the ball into the hands of the uh, offense. But you know, when it came to interceptions, you know, Carolina defense was lacking last season. I mean, they were able to get their share of forced fumbles and fumble recoveries. That was pretty nice. But, you know, we used to be pretty consistent on uh, interceptions, you know, turnovers via interception, and that did not happen last season. So hopefully the defense can really get back to being the, the turnover monsters they once were years ago. So there's, there's a lot of questions that are going to be answered this season and I just I look forward to it you know I'm gonna go into this with my head held up like I said I think this team is capable of at least of at least 10 wins just on paper and looking at what we have and what we can potentially do with the schedule I think Carolina has a good chance of winning at least 10 games this this upcoming season but uh, that's pretty much all that I have. Um, let me know what y'all think about the um, re-signing of Julian Stanford, linebacker, um, who was mainly on Carolina Panthers special teams. Um, do you like it? Do you hate it? Um, what do y'all think are the, the next to be sign signing their rookie contracts? Um, and just what are y'all looking forward to? Um, are you excited? How are y'all feeling? Uh, anyway, like, comment, subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can keep up with each video I release. Um, thank you so much for watching. This is Blitzball Champ Jason Ingram signing off. Hope everybody has a blessed evening, and I will see y'all soon. Laters.